Hi, Revolution, everybody. Uh, this is your boy, Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, and I'm coming to you with five minutes of truth. And I don't have much time on this, but I just want to address something. Um, a video that we recently found uh, for um, making some allegations against us at PimpReacher.com. And since this person really doesn't know who we are, I just want to take some time out to clear up uh, some some of these allegations, but to give her an understanding, a better understanding of who we are. First of all, um, as many of you know, uh, Gina, I'm going to direct you. Uh, Gina uh, Barku, I guess that's how you pronounce your name. That's what you said on your um, Facebook status. Uh, that's according to your profile. Uh, Barku, okay. Miss Barku, I just want you to know that we here at PimpPreacher.com are not a bunch of reprobates, not a bunch of um, so-called carnal or secular people that you want to put out there in your um, in, in what you you know in your video that you that that's going to be it's going to be under here the video is going to be under here and you can see it for yourself uh, we're not a bunch of those folk uh, what we are we are a group of believers in Christ who have such a strong conviction for the people of God that we're tired of people like you being exploited by men like Brian Carr. You may not be aware of your exploitation, but the mere fact that you're starting trying to start a hashtag saying I support Brian Carr means that you've been manipulated. You've been had, you've been bamboozled, you've been run amok. And it's a sad thing. And it's really sad that a lot of people of God follow behind men of God who do not have your best interests at heart. And the mere fact that you have to follow behind a man that honestly goes against every tenet in which God has intended for you. The first thing that he said in the Ten Commandments is thou shall have no other gods before me. And when you elevate a man like Brian Carn. You basically create your own idol, okay? And Brian Carn is your idol, and this all, and, and I mean, it is what it is. But let me tell you a little bit about who we are and what we do, because apparently, you have a limited understanding of who we are and what we do. And I want to give you some clarity uh, for the next two and a half minutes. Um, like I said, we are believers in Christ who stand firmly against any pastor, any priest, any rabbi, any imam that, the, that the goes against the people. We have dealt with issues on our website from the Catholic Church abuse to abuse with um, in the Jewish community. You know, we've dealt with issues of Indians, Hindus, you know, raping people. We've dealt with it all, all religious characters, okay? But here's the problem that you need to understand is that people like you enable and embolden abusers like Brian Kahn, but the abuse may not be directly at you, but see, we deal with people and we interact with a, a wide swath of people who have been hurt. You know, who have been hurt by these men. We interact with individuals who've been raped by their pastor. We've interacted with men who've been molested by their pastor, who've been raped by their pastor. We interact with, with, with people who have given their life savings, their entire, their, their, their entire retirements to preachers to be squandered. We deal with all types of abuse from church leaders. Yet, when we go to confront your man of God, 
your man of God, we go to confront him. Now all of a sudden, we're a bunch of reprobates, that we're a bunch of imps, that we're being that we're workers of the enemy. Could it be? And I mean just 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 take it for for you know, just just go with me on this. Could it be that that God is tired of Brian's mess? Had that ever come across your mind? That God may be tired? That the Holy Spirit may be tired of a man who sat up there and said that George H.W. Bush was going to be dead in 2015? And as we are speaking of this video, March 15, 2016, he is still alive? Could it be that God is tired of him making his word void in the lives of believers? I'm just saying, could it be? Could it be the Holy Spirit giving it to Miss Justice, allowing her to find this psychic video where he, you know, stole that prediction? And here's the funny thing about it. Now, I, don't, I typically don't clap, but I just wanted to get this to this. You should be so happy, Gina. You should be so happy that we found this video, that we published it. Why? Because it's the truth. The truth should make you free and the truth should make you happy. Because here's the thing. He said all these predictions that did not come true. They did not come to pass. The houses in Boca Raton still stand. George W. Bush, H.W. Bush is still alive. Yet, there was no political upheaval in China, in India and Japan. And yet, God, in efforts of clearing his name, you find out that he didn't prophesy what God said. He prophesied what a, what a psychic said. That should make you happy. Because it wasn't God's word to return to him void. That should bring clarity to you and to all the thousands of people that follow this man. That God's word is still true in spite of Brian Carr's folly. But yet you mad at us. Listen, babe, you got to know who we are. We are not your enemy. And I know that you've been deleting a lot of our comments, and a lot of our posts, and that's fine. But just know this, this video is going to stay up. And you're going to be tagged. So when your video comes up in someone's feed, this video is going to come along with it. So, please know that the move of God that you think is happening is not happening with Brian Carr. It's actually happening with the people. Not the men of God, but the people of God. That's real revolution. And that's where God is going. God is going with the people and not with the men. I hope you get this message, Gina. Just know this. We here at PimpReacher.com, we love you. And we'd love to welcome you in within us with open arms. But until you wake up, you won't know what it is to be woke. Okay? All right, everybody else. Revolution! This is your boy, Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, and instead of five minutes of truth, I just gave you ten. All right? So, revolution, everybody. Love you all.